Hey guys, um, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips, a couple of tips um, that I think will help you guys out with what do our guides, why do our guides, I mean, when our guides do um, a couple of different things. Um, so I'll wait till a few more people jump on and I'm going to give the message because I think it's important right now, especially for you to... Um, Hello, babes. How are you? I'm feeling good, babe. Just relaxing today. Um, it was a stressful morning. My car, um, the tire popped while I was driving. It was drama this whole morning, but I'm feeling all right now, feeling grateful. And, and I think, like, you know, everything's happening for a reason right now. A lot of uh, shedding and, and clearing and doing the things. I wanted to give you guys some guidance. Really, at this moment, Stay very, very connected to your guides. Um, I'm in upstate New York, uh, by not too far from West Point and uh, Woodbury Commons. All right, so um, pay attention when your guides are doing stuff like this. Let's say you're driving, right? Okay, so if you're driving and um, you start to feel like a look at that gray hair right there, you're driving, you start to feel um, either hot on your right ear, your right ear starts to burn or you get tapping on the head, like a little a heat on the head here, um, or like a vibration on your crown chakra. Sometimes some people will get like a beep in their ear or a ringing. Um, or like, let's say, for instance, I'm hanging out, I'm just home right now, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking about stuff. Got a lot of thoughts going on in my head. Now let's say I'm thinking negative, right? And I'm thinking negative, negative. Sometimes my angels will, will intercept beep they'll be like stop doing that you're thinking negative too much there's too much negative thinking and they'll beep my ear right so right now i'm getting hit in the sh crown shock right now as i'm talking to you they're hitting me here like they'll do that usually to me to go you're hitting the nail on the head you're hitting the nail on the head like you're you're getting exactly what we're trying to say to you and a lot of times when you get that pressure on your head it's your angel saying hey we're giving you some downloads right now you're receiving information Kelgan, happy birthday love you everybody wish Kel's a happy birthday happy birthday to you Happy birthday. Look at my titty. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> look at my titty. Bing, bing. That looks funny. Look. So, you know. No. So, guys. I'm saying, I'm saying. Okay. So, when you get, let's say, for instance, you're driving, right? For me, for me, my guides will tell me if cops are coming. Like, or if they're around the corner. Let's say I'm, like, going over the speed limit. My guides will, like, you know, tap my ear, like, give me, like, a zzz or, like, a hot ear or like I'll get hit in the back of the head or I'll get hit like right here. It, it's usually with the crown area. A lot of the head, the, he the, the third eye, the crown up here. My right ear will burn, especially if like the other night when I got pulled over. I, it's been, cops have been really a big part of my life for the past two days. Um, for some reason, I just one car had the registration thing and because I have two different cars that I drive and one of them had the registration and my guys made my ear burn like crazy before I got pulled over. And um, so I got pulled over and that happened. And they told me before it was going to happen. I said, oh, fuck, what's about to happen? I pulled up close to my house and that happened with, with those cops the other night. And, you know, it, we got it taken care of. It was just the registration. I didn't know it was fucked up because of easy pass. Right. And then today, my um, when my tire was about to bust, I kept getting like sharp hits on the head like i kept getting sharp 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 hits on the head i told you that's why i don't go out right now during mercury and retrograde i do not like to go out but i have to drive to the store i have to get things you know what i'm saying so um that's what happened on the way to the store but um your guys want you to pay close attention to what they're doing with you right now because they are sending you hints right um especially i'm hearing this strongly if you're um if you're getting ready to go out this weekend and let's say you have a bad feeling about it and you feel like, I don't know if this is the right time. For instance, I'm also hearing this. If you're planning on traveling um, and you're booking something, just like this, the feeling you'll get in your stomach, it will be like a fun, like a very, very calm um, feeling in your stomach if, if everything's going to work out. If your guides feel like this is not going to be the right time for you to travel for whatever reason, it could be weather, it could be the circumstances of how things are going to run on the plane or whatever it is. Um, they're telling you to pay attention to that. Yeah, I'm in hermit mode, low energy, and don't want to go out. Girl, you ain't the only one. I'm dragging you out with me when I come to New York. That's fine, Calgary. You could do that. You know, if I didn't come see you last time, it's because it's just that at that time you came, it was chaotic. Um, 
But um, I feel like October, I'm, I really, f I keep hearing October 10th. Once again, I think I channeled this date the other day and told you about it. Yeah, in a dream I had about it. Um, There's like a different clearing. I feel like the storm, literally the storm is going to be over by that time. You know, it's like thumping in the ear and ringing in ear sort of feeling. Exactly, Chelsea. Exactly. What's Metro Vertical? What is that? Metro Vertical. I don't know. What is that? Metro Vertical. I don't know. Um, so right now my ears are vibrating a lot. Like it's like a, so my ear will do this. Beep, 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 beep. It sounds like, like somebody's tuning a SOS call in my ear. <clears throat> yeah. Retrograde kicks my ass because I have a lot of air in my chart. So it's a lot of the mind and Mercury is all about communication. And that's rules the mind, right? Mercury rules the mind, the communication. And I am a Virgo. So that's, I'm ruled by Mercury. And I also have some Gemini in my chart. You thought I said that? <laughs> You thought I said, oh, Freckle, I might stop by your party, Freckle. Hopefully everything's good by then. Metro Vertical. Oh, um, no, no, no. Metro Ret... Uh, met look at me. Metro Ret... You got me fucked up right now. <laughs> Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde, okay? Um, it's when the planet of communication is in... It's like... People think that the planet's actually going in reverse. It's not. What's happening is like it's everything from the past, especially with communication. I don't know if you guys have had some of your exes um, hit you back. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have had some of your exes hit you back or, you know what I'm saying? Like some people come back from the past. This is the time when that happens. Um, it seems to bring communication back from people in the past, especially people that you left things unfinished with. Or if you, um, somebody you had like a bad time with, like, or, you know, like something where you guys cared for each other, you cared about each other or whatever, but then like, it just didn't, it wasn't working out. And so you parted ways, right? Um, this is the timing when they usually come back around. It's like, yeah. Um, actually what's funny, um, uh, Negra. Okay. It's funny because if you could see my DMs right now, you would laugh. Cause like, I shit you not the first boyfriend I ever had like you know that kind of boyfriend where it's like I just got to high school oh my god and like I'm gonna give him a peck on the kiss and and all that stuff and um so this kid and I don't care if he's watching because I, I have nothing negative to say his name was Jermaine and he was the first like boyfriend I had you know what I'm saying he hit me up and I was like yo what the fuck he was like yo he's like like I'm watching some of your stories like you're inspiring me I love to see it and I was like oh my god it's my first boyfriend ever and I was laughing and then somebody else hit me up today and it was this girl because you guys know I date dated men and women in the past and it was this girl and that came back around the mountain and um uh you know it's uh um she's more like a friend but you know there was some flirting there that but it wasn't like you know, not, not never happened between us. It's like she's a friend, but we flirted all the time. Like we wanted to go, but it's, it just, it wasn't going to happen. And she came back about, um, two weeks ago. I had somebody email me. Um, you know, it's been, it's been like that. Like the first, you know, the first this, I'm going to say this right now, because if you're tuned in here, you're, I'm going to tell you something. Of course, you know, I curse everybody out when today, when my car, um, when the tire, busted i didn't really so much care about the tire busting because i'm getting a new car anyway like i'm in the process of doing that but i was waiting until like covid's over and these motherfuckers could stop trying to charge so much for um cars that are not even supposed to be that expensive and they're trying to fucking beat people over the head and i'm not stupid so i was like i'd rather just fuck around with this car until you know the payments go down and all that shit and i was getting my credit up or whatever you know um what if no exes come back during retrograde is that good yeah, of course it's good. Um, in a sense, if no ex, well, I mean, it's it's not good or bad if no exes come back during retrograde. But um, I don't have. See, here's the thing. I, like, depends on your situation. I have. I don't have exes that I, I'm mad at or anything. You know, like I don't hate none of my exes. We just we just not together no more. Like, if I was to see them, I'd be like, "What's up? How you doing? Okay, bye." It's like you know, it might have ended badly, but it, it it's not like I hate anybody. I don't hate nobody because it's just. It didn't work out. Like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, I'm not a grudge holder. I don't I don't hold grudges on people, you know? Um, but sometimes um, if they didn't come back this retrograde, it's because either the karmic timing isn't right, right? Because remember, we all have karma that we are um, still trying to work on, right? But um, for some of us, that karma is over. Like, we, you know how, you know how um, you'll know? You've let go, right, Chris? Chris, exactly. You know how you you've let go. Um, you know you let go. It's when you start to see that when people come back into your life and they want to be like part of your life again, 
It's because you're, you know, you're, you obviously did the right thing by these people. Why would people keep coming back and wanting to be involved with you at all if you didn't do at least something right by them? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people that come back towards me, it's never with hate because most of them want to be with me again because, you know, they, first of all, they see that I'm progressing, I'm changing, they're progressing, they're changing. And I don't have nobody who comes back and is like, you fucking bitch, I hate you. And if anything, everybody's coming back like on some like, damn, yo, I mean, you were fly down, but like, look at you now, la, la, you're smart, la, la, you know, they're seeing the, the glow up, the glow up. And I'm talking about not physically, I'm talking about mentally. And that mental glow up is like sexy. You know what I'm saying? That shit, I love a smart motherfucker. I love people that, that can raise their vibration and their knowledge. You know what I mean? And so today, like I wanted to curse everyone out, obviously, because of what happened, but I cried a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't think I cried because the car, the happens to the car. I think it was more of like um, realizing like I've been working real hard to like stay in a certain path and whatever. And you know, I had a little conversation, but I was sleeping and usually when I'm waking up during sleep, this is why you guys are having me talk about this because they want you to know they do this with you too. So you're like in the in, um, flow of the internal sexy mom, <laughs> no, the internal, the the mental sexiness. I love that shit. Oh, this coconut oil is making my nose itch. Um, this is going to sound weird, but every once in a while I like to put coconut oil up my nose. And um, I know it's weird. People are like, oh, what the fuck? But I put it up so I could go up my nostrils and come down my, my throat so that my throat and my, my nasal cavities can get cleared up and actually um, coconut oil is, an, is a disinfectant and antioxidant. And so if you're having problems with nasus, nas nasus, sinus, which I sometimes have, um, I get really dry up in these areas. So I'll like put the coconut oil, let it get, I warm it up for a second in the microwave. And then what I'll do is I'll like squeeze some of my nose and let it go up my nasal cavity and down my throat. And I'll tell you, it's just, it's magic. It's mir It's a miracle for me. And I was so dry. I couldn't breathe last night. Yeah, it is antibacterial and it's amazing for a lot of things. I also use it to brush my teeth with sometimes, you know, or I do like coconut oil pulling for a while. I love that shit so much. Yeah, it's it's amazing. And I even put extra virgin olive oil up my nose sometimes when I have sinus issues because those sprays are very bad. They'll just dry you out even more. And sometimes my throat and my nose gets really, really, really sinusy, you know, stuffy. No, you're the best. I love you. Sniffing coconut oil. Yeah, I used to sniff coke. Now I sniff coconut oil. <laughs> Wait, I was just thinking about that for a second. Wait. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny because, you know, like, I was, like, not even thinking of, like, Coco and Coco. <laughs> I'm in love with the coconut oil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. <laughs> you know, um, they should actually put coconut oil in coconut. <laughs> Let me stop because... Okay, can I tell you guys something? Please don't laugh at me. Well, you can laugh if you want. You can laugh. When I used to do coke, <laughs> I used to do coke. Right? Everybody else is out there getting high. You know what I used to lay down? I used to be like, yo, you know what I would make a lot of money off of? And they'd be like, what? We'd be high as hell laying on the bed. Like, the only ones doing coke and laying down. I'd be like, yo, if we made like a nasal spray with like coconut oil or something, so like when you do coke, you could spray it up there and it cleans your nose out and then you could just keep doing coke. And doesn't, Cause why do we stop doing coke? Cause our nose hurts, right? And I'm like, how? Who does that? That's what, you know. At least I was always an inventor, even then. You know what I mean? It's a lame, but trying to invent shit so we can do more coke. I know it's so funny. It's so funny. I'm sorry. That's actually hilarious when you think about that. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to figure out how ways we can do more without our nose bothering us. Like, that's crazy shit right there. <laughs> but it was actually pretty genius. I was like, and I used to I used to think of the commercial. Like, I'm going to make the commercial right, and I'm going to make the commercial sound like I'm talking about something totally different. But people who do it, they'll know. You know what I'm saying? Like, does your nose get dry? Are you tired of being up for two days and having nasal drip and nostril pain? Well, now it's a coconut spray. Put this in your nose and you'll be going for two, three days. No problem. You know what I'm saying? And just have people mad wired in the commercial. That's literally, that was one of my, my, one of my dreams. Anyway, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so the coconut oil just moisturizes my whole nose and I feel so much better. And then because I did that, um... You know the 
what's it called? <clears throat> the chemical peel. I burned the shit out of my face, so now it's starting to get better because that shit was fucked up before, but it's starting to get better. I'll be trying new things at home sometimes. Don't know what I'm doing. It's not it's not good, but at least I try. Um, but I want to say, like, you're, man, Flo, you're supposed to make this video about your guys, and now people are going to watch it and think you're crazy. But um, um, I'm serious, though. Your guys right now want you to know. First of all, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've been wanting to go, to go out, right, to do something. That fucking drip is serious. <laughs> For real. Girl, I've been wanting to go out, um, like, out, you know, because I've been you know, pretty much at home a lot. And then, like, when I when I went out, I noticed, like, especially with the energy right now, there's just a lot of... I don't, I don't, it's, it's, I feel like I'm hearing a song. I always feel like somebody's watching me. It's almost like, first of all, I'm just going to let you know our guys are not playing around right now because they want you to like end this karmic cycle. So I, oh, big message coming in. This is coming in. Um, mm, I'm hearing this is so needed right now because, <sighs> Wow. Okay, guys, I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you this, but if you could feel what I'm feeling, you'd be like, what the fuck? I feel like um, my heart's racing and it's like building, building, building. It's like they're, they said that you don't even know, like this part, whatever this part was that you went through this, this experience I'm hearing this, it's been, it's been a rough one. I'm hearing it's been a rough one and, and it's been up and down, but hey, I heard at least you've been home and safe while it's been happening because for some of us, we were in that mood where, like, you know, if we would have went out in that mood, like, who knows? We would have fought somebody. I don't know. Some shit. You know, like, not like I'm going to do that today. I'll avoid fight at all costs. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, I'm not, it's not like back in the day, people can't bother me. They could be like, you ho, and I'm like, yay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's uh, my, um, that inner healing, You, it's very hard for you to get irritated by people. However... I'm not going to not say nothing. If somebody says something to somebody else, usually most of the time, I'll be like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, you know, but it's like if they say something to someone else because I'm defending, I'm like the vigilante, you know what I'm saying? Trying to defend the honor of fucking Captain save a status, you know? But um, <coughs> what we have here is um, your guy want you to um do things with love and, and see things positively um, because you are manifesting what you thought you weren't manifesting, but you have to get, you had, I'm hearing you had to get rid of someone for some of you. I had, I had to, I'm hearing I had to let go. I had to let go. I'm hearing it's complicated. It's complicated to explain how, but you, but what I'm saying, what I'm seeing and saying, because I'm hearing and seeing is, I see like four people scattering and they're like running around and one person is like finding their way. And these people I'm hearing lost in in the donut, lost in the donut. If you think about a donut, it goes around in circles and circles, right? So whatever this is, like this this person is gonna be stuck in the donut circle cycle, and you're you're like jumping out of the donut. You know, I'm like metaphor. I'm hearing. I'm like I'm hearing metaphorically and literally. Um, so for some of you, um, uh, yeah, it's gonna be important for you to do a cleanse. Um, so I I was I was like, all right, uh, we got what do we got? Today is like the last day of September. Okay, good. I was like, cause October I'm doing like a totally. I have this plan in in motion where I wrote down on my calendar what I want to do. I try to stay away from like gluten. Here's the thing: I never knew what the fuck gluten was, man. I was just like, fuck these gluten free motherfuckers. But like they're doing it to be cute, and I think I actually might have a gluten allergy. Um, and because every time. I eat like bread or things with gluten in it. My stomach swells up and it doesn't go away. Like I could drink the cucumber juice. I make all that and it helps. However, my stomach will stay bloated. So pastas and and, and breads and cheese and all of these things that I fucking love, I have to stay away from, especially in the month of October. And another thing, um, I don't I'm, I don't want to stop eating meat. However, um, maybe first of all, I want to eat a lot of meat. But when I do, it's like a nice big steak or something. But I'm trying to like for the month of October, I'm going to do things a little bit differently, especially with my diet and exercise plan. Right. So, um, um, you know. How do I feel about Natalie? I'll answer that. You know, I'm in a mood today. I'll fucking answer it. I, I don't feel any type of way about her at all. I think that she's fucking smart as hell for, for capitalizing off women who are insecure and kids and, and people who are watching it. She's capitalizing off people that are followers. That's what I mean, you know, 
I don't know how else to say it to you. With with like a little bit of shade, but like at the same time, no hate. Because I don't hate nobody. But let me tell you something. I'm not, you know, I see right through people. So just so you understand, I see right through the world. So for me, as a person who sees right through the world, I have no problems with her. But she capitalizes on people right now that are still vulnerable and weak and still living in that state of... um neediness you know but it is what it is that's you know she's smart she's making money off people that's all i gotta say it's her you know she's smart anyway um but your guys are really trying to tell you right now to um to pay attention because i'm telling you they are they're actually they're actually warning you and guiding you for for a lot of things okay you know i have a chicken right now but it's cheat day yeah i mean you know chicken like grilled chicken i don't know but i, I would across the street from me they're opening up a kosher um Hala, kosher meat market kosher supermarket and i was kind of excited about it because like kosher food is like almost like halal food and they usually do things like they kill the the animals in the right way and all that good shit you know what i'm saying yeah gina i don't want to say it again but i was hoping somebody told you so yeah so what i'm saying is like um um you know this is what i'm realizing about life like from here on out like I used to compare myself to everyone, and this is where our guides are giving us the direction right now. I don't know. You, uh, for instance, like it's a nemesis, right? It's a, ne it's a, it's a, it's a nemesis. Like you know, everybody's got that one person in their life, right? Whoever that might be for anybody, I'd be like, you know, that high school girl that you guys were like, both you were popular, both you were not the popular ones, but you were the popular ones in your group. You know, and I used to compare myself to these people and go like, you know, why are they getting this? And, why? and then I realized something like everybody's living in their own um, own reality show. Right. Everybody's in their own um, their, their, their own star of their own reality show. Right. We are all the stars of our own reality show. So what we have to understand is no matter who's doing what and how they're doing it, once we want Chelsea, once we stop comparing ourselves to these people, because I'm going to tell you something, all I, look, I was reading the Gnostic text and I was reading the the the, the Gospel of Mary and she says, um, call to me and all that all that is hidden from you I shall I shall make um I shall hold on. Oh, okay. All that is hidden I shall proclaim to you. So, you know, I, I'm I'm feeling a lot of goddess energy around me at the at the time, at the moment. And and it's like, here's the thing, here's how I'm seeing it. It's like a, I'm see whoa. I'm see oh my god, the way I just saw this is so weird. So you ever like okay, so there's four people here and there's four people here, and what I'm seeing them is like come together and they're like What I'm seeing is them come together and they're passing each other like this. I just felt someone like like pushing into my back. It's like, are you good, bro? What the fuck? Um, pushing into my back. So the other night I was sleeping and somebody legitimately moved my whole arm. Um, no, I stood the fuck up. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fucking do that. Do not fucking do that. Are you crazy? They, I'm laying like this, bro. My whole arm went like that. I was like, hold the fuck up. What the? F I said, yo, are you crazy? Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Motherfucker, what the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Like, that shit was cut, cut, cut. I mean, I've had my hand picked up before, but like that, <laughs> bitch, I got pushed. Like, my hand, my whole arm. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, are you fucking crazy? My God, but like, I would turn into a whole crazy bitch. Like, you ain't about to lift my fucking arm while I'm sleeping. You know, I'll get like a, my ears burning right now. Sometimes I'll get like my hand lifted and, and stuff. Yeah, I'm huge. It's so connected that sometimes it's like, it's annoying. I'm going to tell you right now. Wherever I go, um, I love it because like, I could easily like stand next to a person for a second. And if spirits say, I'll be like, bruh, 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 tell them to be like, what the fuck? But like, you know, there's. Times when I'm in my house, for instance, um, I'm not I'm not dumb. I, I'm the type of person, if I take a picture of you right now, I will notice all the spiritual energy around you. It's just, it's something that I'm very gifted at. Um, a lot of people that know me. It's okay. What's wrong, baby? Um, do you have a nail clipper? Hmm. Or anything that can just clip? I'm going to get Do you have one? I have a na ma na 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 I tush. So, um, so, like I said, on 
uh, yeah, when I have when I when I'm home sometimes, for instance, spirit is really always connected to me. My ear is burning right now. I'm hearing Skylar. I don't know what that come. Oh my god, my crown chakra is. Mm, it's so sensitive. You might be feeling your crown chakra extra sensitive right now. Also, that's also because a lot of um, needing to be active more. I'm hearing that moving around. Sometimes when I lay down so much, I watch like my Netflix shows or whatever. Sometimes I'll get like a sensitive crown chakra and it's very tender, you know. <clears throat> How can you be more spiritual aware of your guides? First of all, the first thing, um, ooh, I'm getting hit in the head right there. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm getting really, really crown chakra activation right now, big time. Um, meditate. You know, I meditate a lot on my guides and I just listen. So what happens during meditation for me a lot of times, do you ever have lucid dreams of aliens? I, you want me to sit down and do a story time of the many times I visited them and they visited me and they come to me and I go to them? I actually, um, I actually astral traveled to one um, not too long ago. And he was huge. He was like the size of a building. This motherfucker. Well, he was big. He was big. He was like, I'm here. He was on my ceiling, and I transformed into like a little. Oh, but I actually went there. You know, when you have a dream, you have a dream. No, I actually was laying here and I was meditating on my body. I was. I I talked to myself and I was like, it's okay. I was like, I'm not scared. Just go. Like I was telling my spirit to just go because it was like, are you ready, bitch? Because I'm about to leave you. And and I felt it like, and I just remember my body being like this here, and my spirit just went shoom. And I ended up on some craft with some big ass alien, and we had this whole conversation. Everybody said the conversation was about him telling me I have to build something, and me telling him this is my. I, like I was an architect and I was building something and, and I heard like it's like stones or walls or pyramids I'm not sure but there was some kind of contract that I had made with somebody and I was like I'm not doing it unless you pay me this and do that and we had a real conversation so I saw myself transform into a whole nother person and everything you know um she asked to the spirits and they are you can I ask something regarding numbers sure yes you can yes my ear was ringing and it felt like the top of my head was vibrating yeah um it's a it's a lot you know and so like i said when i'm you know in my room in my space sometimes uh, we're always surrounded by spirit right always but especially when they know you're aware of them a lot of times they try to get your attention i would love to like talk to them all day but like i can't it's like that's crazy i don't i don't have a person next to me because i don't want to talk to nobody <laughs> like you know what i'm saying i get it you're here i get it all respect to you all due respect but if you're affecting me or my child in any way now you get me mad because like at first it's like we could do all this like dancing around, but like when you're fucking with me and my energy, and I'm trying to chill, and then you're tapping me, pushing me. I'm trying to fall asleep. You want to lift my arm because mm, that's not how that's not how this works, you know. Like if I had a human here, I'd be like, get the fuck away from me, bro. Stop touching me when I'm trying to sleep. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> what do you think about the Hoover Dam, etc.? They say it's a portal. No. Portal, no water there. I went years ago. I felt eerie. I, I, I could believe it. Here's the thing about me. I have this thing about watching people dig up holes in the earth and it, it bothers me. Not because I'm mad that the, the, whatever the earth is, you know, it's made to be built on, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Right. But, but for some, when I see excessive building of things and okay, so that's, we were talking, we were talking, me and my guys were talking the other night and I was like, I, I was like, you know, I'm not judging. I was like, but the thing is like, what, why do humans do this? Um, and do they not realize like some alien race told them be fruitful and mul multiply because they just want to create a, a, a master race here? Like when I say master race, I don't mean race as in white, black. I mean a master race, a race that is a lot of them, a lot of religion, a religion, a re master religion is what I meant to say. And so they have their their descendants placing millions and millions of babies and children here and they keep destroying the earth and building, destroying the earth and building and keep being fruitful and multiplying, but not realizing, baby, that's not, that's, you're building for some Anunnaki God. Like, I don't want to hear it, man. Stop. Just stop it. Just stop it. Because excessive having of children, excessive of building, excessive breaking walls down and barriers. Like, how can you not see that? It's like, that's like when Hitler tries to, if Hitler was here and he, he's going to try to create a whole new race of Nazis, like, Come on, bro. Think about that for a second. Why, like people that are nor like natural, loving of all kind of all people, right? We we don't we don't want to dominate, right? Our intention is not to dominate. So when when you have a a religion, a race, 
a culture, whatever, and their intention, it's like Napoleon Diamond, Di, Dynam, no, Napoleon Dynamite, listen to me, Napoleon Dynamite, Napoleon, right? He never knew it's, he just kept, he had to conquer every fucking land. It's like, bro, people who want that, conquering and power and all that, they, you, you got to understand, this is a mentality that comes from a specific, just like when you have the, the kings and queens and they want to rule the empire, right? And they want to dominate other empires and they go to war so that they can own more and more land and property. Domination and the need for power is not, it, the, need, the need to seek power over others and authority over others. That is not a natural state of being. That is something that they're they're it's in, it's in, inbred within them. It's bred with, like it's something that's planted into their minds, and they come here to Earth and and then they want to take over. I'm not okay with that. Not because of you want to take over, bro. You win. Go ahead. I ain't got no nothing in me says I want to dominate and have power over people. What? That's that's not that's not of the light. Of the, that's not of the love. That's not of the light. There's nowhere in hell or in heaven that of love, light people. You're not going to go to heaven or so-called, whatever you want to call heaven, right? The light or past the seventh dimension, right? And they're going to be like, I'm the king here and that's the queen. There is no such thing as king and queen. It's like everybody's, yeah, there's ascended masters and all that. And everybody gets respect and they get honored. And But I'm talking about, I'm talking about far, far beyond the galaxies and beyond those ascended masters and all that. Beyond Jesus and beyond all that. There is none of that. There's, you know, um... <clears throat> And you know, um, two two frequencies. One is all about love and oneness, right? Oneness to divide and to separate. That is not the energy of oneness. Okay, okay. Even Jesus was trying to control. That's a fact. Like you, this is what I'm saying. The other day I was having this conversation with my guys, and I was like, no offense to anybody, like Jesus or Muhammad or none of these people, but look, man, <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't. I. I mean, it's cool and everything, but when I start to read certain things that you're saying. I don't like that shit. Like, uh, who the fuck is you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to tell me how to live my life. Like, no, it's not about that. Because, listen, we're all God, right? At the end of the day, we all come from source. And everybody knew. Those people that are ascended masters and all that, they knew that they came from source. And they knew they had certain powers within them. And at the end of the day, they, you know, if you're going to tell somebody, lead and follow me, worship, worship me. And I'm not saying Jesus did that because I respect his, his, his shit too. But like I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I'm sorry. I, like I'll, I'll, I'll take some of the advice that you have and and follow the ways of your your, you did things. Maybe take some of your. Look at Mary. You don't hear nothing about her saying like follow me and do what I say. No, people chose to. Right? Mary is a person who, she had Jesus and that's it. <laughs> like she never asked nobody. She had, she never she ain't never asked none of us to follow her or to do us she you know do her will or none of that shit. And that's why you gotta understand any any entity, I'm gonna call it an entity, that comes to you in a dream or all that and says, Worship me, bow down to me, worship me, and then I'll give you this. If you ever have that happen to you, run. If you ever have an entity, a person, a being, anything like this, hey Professor Crime, if you ever have an entity, a being, or um a master, um, ascended master, and they come to you, bow down to me and whatever you want, I shall give you. Think about that for a moment. So you, wait, you want me to bow down to you and then I get what I want? I'm I'm so confused. Like, what is this? Like, we can't, is, it, is this like a fucking, uh, am I signing myself over to something here? It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Mary don't want us no damn virgins. She ain't, no, I ain't never heard her say nothing like that. You know what, matter of fact, let's go through some of what Mary said right here. The Gnostic text. Hold on. Give me one second. Because I was going to do this the other day, but I was like, people don't have no patience to listen to this. But I think you guys do because you're smart. <laughs> and smart people know what time it is. So I'm going to show you guys something right here. Hold on. Okay? This is the Gnostic Gospels. And I was, I was studying this. You know, I study this every once in a while. I like to look into it. I like to reread it and to see what it's saying and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Uh, okay. Ooh, I'm getting hit in the head right now. Okay. I'll tell you right now. This is Mary. The Gospel of Mary. And we're going to look at it. 
see, I study it. Like, I write notes and shit like that. And I don't know. If you guys get bored, you could leave. But I think that you would get some knowledge off this. I like, I'll go through these texts and stuff and I'll just read through them. And I just, I examine them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so one of the things I kept trying to fucking figure out, like this. Um, he who is the, the son of the father, the, the son of the father, right? The son of the father. And you will know that you are the, 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 you are, you will know that you are the sons of the father. So I was trying to figure that out and I'm thinking, I'm like the sons of, you will know that you are the sons of the father. And he says, I am my father's, I am the, the father's son. And I'm like, okay, so of course we know that the son is symbolism. We know that Jesus died at the age of 33. 33 is the code for the Freemasons. Jesus was a carpenter. The carpenters are Masons, right? You know that um, Leonardo da Vinci painted Jesus with the Alpha and Omega symbols and all of his, and all of his um, <clears throat> paintings. <clears throat> Leonardo da Vinci. <clears throat> <clears throat> all of a sudden, I want to say some smart shit. Get the fuck out of here. Leonardo da Vinci, if you know, and all of the Leonardo da Vinci's, he's got um, spaceships on the back of... Um, <clears throat> The back of the things in the Rosicrucians, the Mona Lisa, right? The girl with the pearl earring. He was a Rosicrucian and he knew about the Rosicrucians. The girl with the pearl earring was a girl who stood at his house, who's also Jane. Jane is also the person who went and um, who got uh, King Henry to fall in love with her. And then she ended up having a daughter, Mary, who ruled for some time, right? So, you know, Prince, the Queen of Scots, Mary, she, she had a daughter by him. So these people, he's, Leonardo da Vinci is trying to show you that they're all connected. That's why in the Last Supper, you have, um, Ma you have um, Jesus and Mary, and they're, uh, they're vertical to each other like this, and the V is in between them, which represents the divine masculine, the divine feminine where Jesus <clears throat> was said to be buried with um with Jesus was said to be buried in his tomb there was the alpha and omega symbol which what he was representing and telling everyone is that we are the divine masculine divine feminine it's not just me he was trying to enlighten people to the higher codes so again <clears throat> the number 33 is the code to enlightenment right that's the 33 the 33 vertebrae 33 bloodlines in the human and the human um humans have 33 bloodlines 33 um vertebrae there's um um mm. if you look at some leaders uh a lot of leaders um uh, for instance I, I posted the other day um what was his name roy something he died at the age of 33 and he and he was a civil rights movement leader he was a singer also but <clears throat> ended up getting into civil rights and then was killed and a lot of people that did good for the earth died at the age of 33 but also a lot of people that did bad for the earth died at the age of 33 33 is a big code three 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 six nine nikola tesla okay you gotta because <clears throat> three multiplied by three is six and um and three but, but you know it's three six nine the three 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 right which is the father the son and the holy spirit which is the all connection to humanity right <clears throat> and what they were trying to say basically is <clears throat> it's so funny as soon as i started talking about this my throat closed up it's yeah because this is this is knowledge that they never wanted nobody to know about right and so whenever i start to talk about this it's either um <clears throat> yeah, I just this that's the knowledge. And my right eye is um somebody's some I got heat in the right eye here. Okay, so I'll read things like this. His his is the name, he his is the son, he can be known. The name is unseen because it is an enigma of the unseen which comes to the ears that are full of him. Our father's name is in is unutterable, but known through his son. The name is great. Who he who will be capable of uttering his son's holy name? Our, only our father who knows the name. Then I, then I circled this. Since our father is unborn, he, is, he, is alone, he alone is the one who created for himself the name before he created the, the eons. So <clears throat> the I am, talking about the I am. Everything that I read here, when you read it, it's like it's crazy the way that they say it, but it's all about like... Um, <clears throat> It's all about the divine masculine, divine feminine, the third eye, right? He who sees, one of the, the quotes was here in one of the writings here in the book of Thomas, actually, this is the Gnostic Gospels, but it includes the Gospel of Mary, the Gospel of Thomas, and the Gospel of Judas, and um, these are the people that stood around Jesus the whole time, right? Um, mm -hmm. 33 is the big code for this reason. If you haven't seen it, I, I posted a video on my Instagram with Matteo Stefano. 
and he talks about how when you reach the level of um, the ninth dimension and you start to hit the 33 codes, 33 is the 369, which is Nikola Tesla's um, the theory to the theory to all vibration. If you want to know, he says you want, if you want to understand the earth, if you want to understand the earth, um, think of numbers three six nine. Nikola Tesla used to walk around the building three times. He only used to get room numbers with the number three six or nine in or three six nine because he believed that was the key to the universe, and it is three six nine. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the divine, the divine order from which we all came from, right? So we all came from this this um the the um time, space, and consciousness, right? It's where we were developed, where humanity with the Elohim was created, right? The you know that Metatron, all these um beings that you hear of the Elohim Elohim um, Elo, the Elohim is, um, the, um, the word L is, it means the powerful one. So you got Raphael, Mikael, um, Jose, uh, uh Jophiel, right? Ari, uh, Ariel, um, Gabriel, right? They're all named with L cause these are the powerful ones. These are the ones that were like, <clears throat> this is the first vibration created, um, uh, in the universe when the first person, well, the first consciousness thought of I am, right? So you are the I am. The way it's said, the theory goes, and I, the theory I believe. You are in the darkness. That's why you're saying, that's why people say we're born of the darkness. Because we're all essentially come from the void. And in the void, you are in the void. You're just floating around this universal cosmic place and all of a sudden your consciousness, right? Your consciousness, which is <clears throat> always forever, never, never dies, right? Your consciousness is in the void. And while you're in the void, you start to say, oh, shit. Like, what is this? Who am I? What is this? How are they? Why are they? You start to ask these questions. And then from there, you can understand that you could create yourself. And so you start to go to the first dimension. And in the first dimension, you start to realize, oh, my gosh, I could probably create myself. You start to really start to start vibrating into the second dimension where you really say, oh, my God, I could turn myself into a physical matter. Boom, then you turn into a physical matter and then you go to the fourth dimension and it's like there's levels to this shit, right? So you start off as a consciousness and from the consciousness you create yourself and come into this physical vibration, this physical being, right? So those of us who are able to create ourselves into this physical reality, which is why they say so many other um, so many other entities that are unable to do that get jealous of humans and that's why humans are like the, the center of the earth because it really is. It's the place where everybody creates themselves into a physical matter and able to... To, in order to be able to uh, receive uh, information and help humanity um, ascend, right? A hundred percent. I've heard of the Black Jesus. See, I know I'm a, I'm well aware of this. I'm gonna tell you how I think of it. <clears throat> so you know, this is my theory, and this is what my guides always. <clears throat> Oh my God, my throat. Oh my, um, my guides always lead, lead me to, and every time I get led up to this, the way I see it is like this. Since we were all able to manifest ourselves through consciousness and we all came from consciousness, each one of us decided what we're going to be as we created this consciousness. And, and this is why we're all supposed to be becoming like God, becoming God again. And so what people don't understand is that not that we want to be God like your God. We're not talking about the Anunnaki gods, the Sumerian gods, the Amun, Amun-Ra, that everybody's still saying amen to. Okay, we're not talking about those gods. Those are, they are, they created themselves to be gods, but they remained there, stood there as the gods because that is where they wanted to remain in power. So you have like Allah, you have, um, you know, uh, Muhammad, uh, Jesus, and all of these. And these are not beings that, <clears throat> you know, thought of them as like Jesus, for instance, was trying to teach us all to become like gods, to become like him. Okay. He was saying, not that if you're good or bad, you can get to heaven or earth. He was trying to tell you that if you can let go of your guilt, your shame, and this so called sin shit, you can reach a level of consciousness where you could be like him too. He was trying to make you like him, not to worship him. See, that's what a misconception is. And I'll tell you right now, I can say this because Jesus has come to me in my dreams and told me like, God, bitch, you're saying the right thing. He's trying to tell you guys you could be like him, not <clears throat> worship me. <clears throat> they turned, you got to understand something. Whatever enlightened being that came here and did something where they taught us to be enlightened they also use those people for their own agenda. 
So just like they use religion today to control people and manipulate people. You see what I'm saying to you? It's the same thing. There is one God and that God is you. We're all God, right? So you have to understand that for a reason because we all come from this one Con we all come from one consciousness. That one consciousness created ourselves in multiple realities so that we can experience life in different dimensions and different forms so that humanity and other beings in the universe can ascend. With one consciousness, we it's like a spider web. That's why they call it the cosmic web. You know, the flower of life? Boop, one button, bing, bing, bing. And from the flower of life, all of these consciousness, they're bubbles. You know, the, the, Metatron, the, the Metatron cube is... The bubble, the bubble of creation, right? So like, it's like it starts here. Oh, shit. Let, me destroy, let me destroy everything to show you. You see that? You see that? <clears throat> that was the one consciousness that started off, right? And then from there, it split up into different realities. You see how it's splitting up? It's splitting up, it's splitting up, and it's splitting up. This is where the Elohim, Metatron, this is where the, the powerful ones hang out and in in, in, they started this creation. And then from there, the rest of our consciousness started to spiral out, which is the cosmic web, where humanity, this is why they say we're all one. This is where the saying, we are all one, comes from. Yes, we are all separate individuals, and we're all... <clears throat> here to learn separately however we're all one consciousness which is why separation and division is one of the things that is the worst things that humanity can do and anyone in the cosmos separation and division cause us to think that we were all against each other and we're supposed to be fighting against each other when really we are all versions of ourselves you notice when you meet somebody and they remind you of someone you know that's because our souls are all connected. We're connected in some form or another. You're not meeting souls by accident today. Anybody that you're meeting, it's not by accident. Okay? So if somebody from your past comes back, your ex comes back, and blah, 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 it's because there's something that your soul like connected to and was like, oh, all right, when we get when we get to wherever we are, let's meet up again. And <clears throat> let's meet up again. And also you have to understand Satan. Okay? Let's talk about Satan. Because a lot of people, you know, here's the thing. This is... <clears throat> <clears throat> Satan, Jesus says in one of the in one of the texts, I am I am Lucifer. He says it. You wanna know why? I'm gonna tell you why. I figured it out because I you know I'm like a fucking uh, knowledge. I, I sit here and I do like uh, math on knowledge, and I realized why he said I am Lucifer. So what he was saying was, it's like if you want to think about Satan and Jesus, <clears throat> Jesus chose the light, right? He chose to uh, enlighten people and give them information and all this stuff. And Lucifer chose to keep people in the darkness, but in some form or another, he gave them information we weren't supposed to have, so-called, right? Right, this is where, you know, right, exactly. In the age of Aquarius with the water barrier, the big water carrier, and he's he's holding the water. That's what Aquarius is, the water barrier. And we're stepping into that. And this, oh, I'm getting hit in the head so hard here. So, G, um, what, so Jesus and, and Lucifer are one and the same. Why, why am I saying that? Why am I saying that? Because they both chose a different path to teach humanity certain things. So in a way, Satan was almost the fallen angel is like a sacrificial in the way they're both martyrs, right? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it for a second. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Now, people will say, well, he chose evil. You have to understand this. You have Jesus who chose to enlighten the people and love us and, and teach us to love each other and to be connected as one and then got killed for it. <clears throat> and then you got Satan. You got Satan who chose to be a martyr too, because in a sense he went against that and the knowledge and all that. He went against that and he became a martyr himself. In a sense, he sacrificed himself to do and spread and 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 experience evil so that humanity could learn. You got to understand that before Jesus, there were um, <clears throat> beings in the fourth dimension, right? The Arct Arcturians and the Pleiadians. There were uh, certain beings in the other dimensions that. They decided when when these people were created, these higher vibrational beings that were created before us, they're not better than us. And they tell us all the time we don't know everything, right? We they don't know everything. They're not they're not wiser than us. They're just technical techno, technologically more advanced than us. But what they're saying is, um, <clears throat> when they were created first, right, and humanity came so called after all that because we we're created in their image, right? Um, when we started coming after that, you have to understand. They chose to be martyrs first, right? I'm going to tell you why. Because there was no death before like humanity started coming in and dying and stuff like that. You think about the Sumerians. <clears throat> 
ancient Sumerians, these these um, Anunnaki Egyptian gods that you hear about living for, like Thoth, for instance. I lived for 1,700 years. He says in the book of Thoth, and this is the truth. They lived for a long, long, long time, okay? Um, hold on, King. I'll tell you in a second. Um, we, they lived for a long, 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 long time. <clears throat> so what happened was these higher beings decided, okay, we'll die. We're going to die. Because they weren't dying, they were living and living and living forever, right? And so they decided to die. They were the first martyrs. <clears throat> so Jesus is like an example of them. I died for your sins. It's not about sins. I died for you to evolve, right? I died for you to evolve. So these first beings had to start dying so we can we can evolve, okay? You understand what I'm saying to you? So it was an evolution series that we were going through. Nobody was, you know, nobody's good, nobody's bad. Everybody chose a path. And yes, to you, that might be bad. And guess what? To them, that's not bad, right? So to the evil ones, like you say, it's not bad to them. To the good ones, it's good to them. But you might you might think of it, you're not, ta we're not talking about like from, from the beginning, you know, the I am that chose the I am and then chose to give light and love. And then the I am that chose to be bad and give bad. Um, both of them, darkness and light, are working together. That's what you, you're failing to understand. And I know this for a fact because darkness will come in and help you wake up to your spiritual awakening, okay? Um, I understand you, black girl. I get you 100%. Sometimes Jesus, like, he'll show me himself and he became a, a physical manifestation of people's realities in their minds. But he always shows me, like, that he's a vibration and he's he's never been what people made him out to be. And this, this is just... It's crazy because Jesus is connected to the Rosicrucians. The Rosicrucians are like Freemasons, the Illuminati type shit. You have to you have to know this. You have to know this because the codes that Leonardo da Vinci was putting in the Last Supper, and if you ever watch, you know, <clears throat> <clears throat> let's clear it in the throat, man. Um, Jesus was uh, was a part of the Rosicrucians and all that stuff. You have to understand this. Okay, he was he was showing something totally different from what people were seeing. There's a totally different uh, uh, thing that people are seeing. But the thing is, they took it, made it a religion so that they can do their bidding with it. And, the, you know, just like you have Jewish people be fruitful and multiply and then knocking everything down and building for themselves constantly. A lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, it's great because because they're all family and they're all together. But you have to understand they're they're here to take over, baby. No race of alien beings that puts humanity of their kind here on this earth that tells them, create, be fruitful and multiply, and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it because they want to have, hey, Richie, they want to have um, domination. You understand me? <clears throat> <coughs> it's so weird. As soon as I started talking about this, like you see that, right? As soon as I started talking about my, you don't understand. I felt like somebody was choking me. It's like they're trying not. It's okay though because <clears throat> the message is gonna get out regardless, you know. And I talk with whenever I I feel it. I don't just sit here and spit shit to you that I haven't been studying forever and actually meditating on for a long time. But it's here's the thing. That's what the guides are trying to say. Even though it's good to have all this knowledge, you have to understand everybody's gonna do what they do. That's why it's important. I'm hearing that we train angels here on Earth because, um, you know, we have to understand something. You have to understand something, okay? Um, whoever chose to be bad, they chose to be bad. Whoever chose to be good, they chose to be good. But it is, if you choose to be of the light and the love and your job is to spread light love, right? Okay? <clears throat> exactly, Crystal. I've been trying to stop everybody. The last live you made cut off at the moment. I was trying to tell you something. Exactly. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, they, they, this, not, this is not a, it's not, it might be, to, listen. I understand people are like, ah, oh, these people. It's, you know what it is? They're not willing to do the work of the knowledge. And it's hard work. And it's it's stressful. Sometimes it's it, it can drive you crazy. And a lot of people don't want to know the truth. That's why the term ignorance is bliss is very, very, very important. Because ignorance is bliss for a reason. When you don't know nothing, you, you don't have nothing to worry about. You just don't know nothing. You don't care. You don't care. Ignorance. Whatever, bitch. I mean, it all. Nah. You know, I remember when I was like that. Ignorance was bliss. I had a good time. You know what I'm saying? I didn't give a fuck about nobody. And then that was going on. Then you start to recognize what's going on. And then it starts to hurt you a little bit. And then you're upset about it. Now you want to fight for it. Now you're in the rabbit hole. Then you start to kind of become a conspiracy theorist. From there comes a spiritual awakening. From there, the truth starts being revealed to you. Then you start to understand that, huh, everything is one. 
It's all good. Life is what it is. We can't, all we can do is do our part. Nobody's going to ever forever change the world. They're going to change parts of the world. Like for instance, like, you know how they say, well, Hitler changed the world. Well, no, he changed parts of the world to be, if you want to think, he did change the world. He changed the way it moved, but think about it for a second. When it was happening, not everybody in the world was affected by it. They were talking about it, but it's like when 9-11 happened, I live in New York. I was like, oh shit, that shit's right there. But motherfuckers in fucking Atlanta were like, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, Florida is not too far from me, but it's, the hurricane's happening there. It ain't over here. And when it's, you know, until it hits home, nobody understands, right? Nobody understands, right? Yeah, everybody, you gotta, you do not see that everybody who goes after knowledge and wants to know the truth, like you know, these people are always <laughs> suffering, <clears throat> you know. Um, you know, uh, and you talk about Marilyn Monroe, people could say like Marilyn Monroe, what the fuck does she have to do with this? She had a lot to do with it because guess what? She was a victim of the fucking, um, of the truth because she was being used as some whore. Look at the movie that they fucking made her look like a dirty ass whore in that movie. Like she was some dirty ass hoe. All she did was fuck motherfuckers and da da da. Meanwhile, what the fuck is you talking about? They were making her do, they, they created that monster and then they judged her for it. And then she had information on the two brothers that were fucking her. Because Ke J.L. Kennedy and his brother was both hitting it. Not only that, Peter Law for the brother-in-law was also hitting it. I mean, come on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then she had the information and the knowledge that, yo, pillow talk is a motherfucker, yo. They don't call it a honey trap for no reason. You know what a honey trap is, right? Oh, I'm a medium spirit showing me a very special, but they already know. You already know. Oh, I love you. Thank you for that. I need to hear that sometimes. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, pillow tucks, tuck, pillow tuck, pillow tucks a motherfucker, you know, the honey trap, you know, what honey traps are, right? They send like these beautiful women into the bedrooms with these powerful men and then they get them like the sucking they dig and they're finding out what's happening in the world and they're basically, and she found out a lot of stuff and yeah, they killed her. What the fuck are you talking about? Who, the fact that people have to think about this, did, 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 they, did they kill Marilyn or did she overdose? Bitch, please. Are you joking me? Did they kill her? I don't know. Bobby Kennedy was at her house not even a fucking hour before she died. One. Two. The fucking house made... First of all, Marilyn Monroe told me they killed me, first of all, because she was... I was watching the movie and her, her documentaries and she was... And I was like, they killed you. She was like, I know. She was like, yep. And she was like, they... And I heard they often never tell the, the truth. Like, it's always the lies, right? And um, because there's a saying like that. Often the truth never gets revealed. It's always the lies. And then also, also her, her maid called her doctor before she called the fucking hospital then on top of that they say they say that she was still alive on the way to the hospital and all of a sudden come on get the fuck out of here people were like she she was pronounced it are you kidding me needle on the ass nobody will find find out and not only that they also have this thing the see the shmi shmi the shmi -A. they have this um needle that they give somebody a shot and it looks like they had a heart attack and they'll never know there was four doctors um who discovered okay I don't know if you guys know about this or if you've ever heard about it, okay? This is some top secret shit, but I'm sure a lot of you have read about it. Well, probably not. There was four doctors. They went to uh, Africa at the time when the so-called white man went there to like give vaccines and help them get healthy. So these four doctors went over there and they went to do um, investigation, like what's in, the, what's in the vaccines that they're giving them. It turned out that half of the vials... We're infected with HIV at this time when HIV went crazy in Africa out of nowhere. Out, out of nowhere. They're like Shmovid. Okay? And they figured out that these vials were being... There was HIV in them. There was a, a strand of illness or disease that was being put in them. And these four doctors found out about it and they went back to their hotels all excited they're gonna let people know that the, you know they went there and under the guise of we're gonna help you and give you these needles and help you live... Matter of fact, though, it was actually them infecting these motherfuckers because they said it was getting too crowded out there. It was getting too crowded out, out there. And so they went there and did that. And then they found all four doctors in the hospital, in, the, in their hotel rooms died of a heart attack. All four of them died of a heart attack. And the fact that people believed it, that's so, that, they ate something, they got sick, they all died. Oh, okay. All right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, of course. No problem. You know? 
Oh boy, video about to get cut. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you already know what time it is, man. Y'all motherfuckers is, is aware, aware. I'm not talking about woke. I'm talking about aware. There's woke and then there's aware. All this fake wokeness I see around here with these motherfuckers thinking that these pronouns and call me this and call me that is helping them. No, baby, that's the agenda. It's separating you further. What you need to understand is that we need to just understand something. And, and that, like people ain't fighting for the fact that, oh my God, there's women and men. Like, let it go. It's not about that. It's about the first further separation that they're doing to us further and further and further they separate us further every every year they create something new for us to argue over every year so just pay close fucking attention okay pay close attention because every year they separate i'm hearing this very strongly right now i just got tapped in the head again every year they're gonna create something further and further i told you i had the dream i had a dream that they were going to get into the churches somehow or another. And somebody who's going to be talking, he's going to be, he's going to come out real smooth. And I heard Obama's voice. So somebody who's like smooth like Obama, but there's an entity controlling this motherfucker right behind him. And people are going to praise this person, whoever he is, he's coming, right? And then whoever this woman is in Great Britain, she had black hair and she was sitting in front of the, the flag. She's also coming. I don't know who she is, you know, but she was sitting in front of the flag and... I don't know if she's good or bad, but I think she's good. I'm hearing something about, um, I don't, like, I'm hearing, like, uh, down with the patriarchy, down with the patriarchy. Look, man, look. That's why another thing you have to understand, like, with females, like, and wanting us females to, like, be, um, more powerful. You have to also understand just because we're wanting to step up into our power, we got to not put down men because we become just like them. You see? Because in the beginning, in the beginning, when the men started taking over, because for 20,000 years, the matriarchal order, they, um, they were the ones in control. Look into this, okay? It's like the wisdom of the ancient women. And you'll see that the, the women were in control for about 20,000 years and everything was peaceful. There was no wars, none of that. And then all of a sudden the patriarch came in. This is when like Zeus started taking over and all this stuff, right? Yeah, exactly, Astro, exactly. Zeus started taking over and then they started like controlling women because they saw that we were in control, but we weren't trying to be, it was just working that way. It was peaceful. And then they, oh, they got mad, they took over. And then all of a sudden, all the women became sluts and whores and all of the ancient texts that we have, the, the scorned woman, Lilith and Isis, and the whore and the, the, you know, come on, like pay close to, come on. Yeah, listen, look, read past the line, you know, read between and behind the lines, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Handmaid Tales, you see what I'm saying? Exactly, KJ, the, the movie Handmaid Tales, that shit is, cr like, that shit, if that shit ain't, Yeah, I, I, you gotta get this and read into this. The Gnostic Gospels, it's little, it's, it's, it's tiny. It's on Amazon. It's like I think fifteen. I think I paid twenty five dollars or something for it. But it's so. I, I, I literally look. I'm. I take notes on it all day. Like if you see, I'm always taking notes on this because you will learn a lot from stuff like this. It's not that you're learning. It's not even just learning what they're talking about. It's learning to read between these lines that they have here. Because some of the things they have in here is crazy. Hold on. Okay, here. The Gospel of Magdalene. I don't know why I couldn't find that. And I was looking for it. So I will tell you, I've been connecting to Mary a lot and, and all these goddesses that I have in my goddess oracle deck. And I feel like since that's been happening, like a whole new me is coming in. Like this powerful like person is stepping forward. And I feel like I'm surrounded by these goddess women. And they're looking at me like, oh, this bitch is saying shit about us. Like she's out there like, nah, fuck that motherfucker. You need to respect the women. Like I'm, and it's not about the women. It's not about women or man i'm saying you're, you're forgetting the divine feminine the divine feminine has been placed in the shadows when all the while she is the birthing of everything okay i mean i hate to say it like this i'm sorry but i i swear to god i'm gonna say this that jesus was a front for who was really you know it and that's mary i'm sorry i don't give a fuck 
And I'm not saying it's not about man or woman, because you know me. I, I defend men all of the time. You guys know that about me. Actually, I've had people say, you're always defending men. And I'm like, well, that's because I defend them when they need to get defended, because there's women out here that are shitting on men, saying they ain't worth nothing. That's not true. Just because a few of them got raised wrong don't mean that all these men are fucked up. There's some good men out there. I know. I've had a few of them as friends and in my life. There's really great men out there. You just have to keep your heart open to find them. Like, when you have the bitterness... You're going to attract bitter motherfuckers. It's like, that's the way it goes, you know? That's the way love goes. So if you guys want, I'll read a couple of things. Can you show the book cover again, please? Yes, I can. The Gnostic Gospels. I just love looking at this sometimes because, like, I, I, me, I'm, like, so nosy. I'll read it and I'll circle something, come back to it and be like, and then I'll meditate on it. You know how I am, okay? Hi, Quinn. I'm, oh, you were, you were already here. You know how I am? You know what's crazy? I'll, like, lay there. Like, let's say I read a line, right? Then I'll lay there and I'll be like, what does that mean? And then I'll like hear, da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll do, you have to meditate on something if you want to know something about it. You can't just be like, oh, I don't understand this and throw it out. If you don't want to understand it, that's okay. There are, there are great men and there's great women and people are just, you know what it is? Today's people, everybody's so up to their egos. You know, I was, I'm going to tell you something. This is a message. I think spirit got me saying this for a reason. I was like concerned about career and what I'm going to do. And then I said, you know what? This is the problem with the world. Everybody's, we don't need more successful people. We need more loving people on earth. We don't need successes. Everybody thinks the whole goal here to be on earth is to become successful, to have money and to have cars and to be shiny. But actually success is in the eye of the beholder, right? And so I've let go of all that wanting this and wanting that. And no, 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 I've, I forgot that I, I also probably came here to, to have love and to enjoy my life and to travel and to do all that. But I'm sitting here talking about success. Like, fuck that. I don't give a fuck about none of that no more. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I just want to live, you know, and have a good time. I don't want to fucking go up back up there and be like, damn, I had all that time down there. That's what I did. Can I go back? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm not trying to come back. I'm I'm gonna do my duty in the in the in my where where I am in the heavily band of army that I'm in. Okay, the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Let's read a couple of lines here. Mary questioned her master, and at the end of the eon, will all matter be destroyed? So she's talking to Jesus. Jesus says, all of nature, its forms and creatures are interrelated. All will be returned to their original source. You see right there. What did I say to you? What did I say? Everybody's going to be returned to their original source, where they are originally sourced out of, right? Which is the one, the one, the, the unit, the consciousness of the oneness, where the cosmic spider web begins. Yeah, right? Successful, successful is within internally sharing your knowledge. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. Don't thank me. You know, I'm a, I'm actually, if I, you know that I'm actually a, a, a version of you, right? Um, somebody said this to me the other day. She said, you know what? She was like, well, if I love you, then I must be smart and knowledgeable just like you. And I said, that's right. She goes, yeah, because I'm, I know that you're my higher self talking to me now and preparing me to get to the position further than you one day. And I said, girl, you said it. I don't, I, you said, she said exactly what I was thinking. I'm speaking to you through your, it's, I'm like, just like somebody I watch, like Mateo says, Stefano, I'm like, oh my God, his knowledge. Oh, like, you know, he's a vibration of me. So there's nobody's better than you. I'm not better than you. She's not better than you. That bitch ain't better than you. That dude ain't better than you. You have to understand. You are them. That's you. It's If you're attracted to that, you see? Ego, exactly. And if you're attracted to something, let's say you're attracted to negative shit too, you have to understand. You're looking at a bitch like, that bitch is nasty. She's dirty. She's a hoe. She's this. You keep getting attracted to that bitch, right? That's for a reason. You see, and to Quinn, success is family, right? To to other people, success to me, success is just living a peaceful life where I could spread knowledge. That that's all I want. Peaceful life where my finances, I don't have to worry about none of that because I'm too see, I never want I, I don't know about you guys. I don't give a fuck about money. The only reason I know I want a lot of it is so I don't have to worry about that stuff and I could do what I, I gotta do, which is spread knowledge open up a space where I could spread more knowledge and then they could spread more knowledge and then I could give back and do charities and show people how to give back to the earth instead of taking, 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 taking. Because that's what humans will do. You could see a homeless person put up a sign, please help me, and everybody walks by them. But if that homeless person has a sign that says free food, take one, what do you think everybody's going to do? They're going to take one. Humanity's... 
you know why empaths, you guys, all of you guys suffer so much sometimes, not suffer, why we feel like we suffer? Because we're givers. And what happens when you're in a world full of takers and you're a natural giver, you feel like you're being used. And you are. In a sense, you are being used. You're being used by your family. You're being used by your friends. You're being used by society. You know why? Because everybody's a taker. They're selfish and they live in the ego status and they take, they take, 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 take. And it's very rare that you find other givers who give with all the natural love and nothing intended behind it. Because some people give and in, their intention is to give and get something in return. Again, taker. When you're a person, so so as myself, as myself, 100% this is me. I ain't got no qualms about saying this. I give and I don't expect nothing in return. Not from them. I might be like to the universe, like, I'm going to keep, you know, look out for me. I got everything else. Because the universe is supposed to be working with me to help give, right? All right? The more the universe works with me, the more I can give. The more I receive from the universe, the more I can give. That's how I feel. And for me, if it's about receiving and I'm not giving, what's the point, right? What's the What's the point for me that just doesn't... I, it doesn't sit right with me for me tomorrow to like, let's say, win $20 million and I keep it all to myself and buy a big ass, doofy ass house that I don't need. No, how about I buy a bunch of houses, get my family set up, boom, 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 set up the kids for the future, bomb, open up a couple of free community sh centers, badong, you know what I'm saying? Like, and just and get a couple of properties where I could keep making money and keep giving back. You know what I'm saying? Everybody thinks differently. Some people want money because they want to buy a car or they want their Louis bag. Bitch, you in that Louis bag. If you don't go fucking get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm, I was about to say I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that I'm saying that because it's it's pathetic. It, I'm, it's pathetic. And the fact that people are so drawn to it, this is what, what kills me. And it's like, it, it drives me nuts. It's like, you, you'll have somebody who'll be like, I have the receipts, bitch. Look at me with the bag. Look at me with the bag. You have people arguing, talking about, look at me, and they'll go to the store, show themselves off paying for a $10,000 purse. I, I, I'm sick to my stomach because it's 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 ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then people are like, yeah, yeah, she bought a ten thousand purse, ten thousand dollar purse, she's better than everybody. Honey, honey, oh honey, oh honey, oh sweetie, it's okay. You need I know you need love. I know, baby. It's okay, sweetie. I get it. Can I just say I think I have the gift, gift, but I don't embrace it when listening to you. I feel like I heard it before and I know what you're saying even before you say it. That's because you do. Okay, so let's let's play a little psychic game, okay? Everybody close your eyes. If you think you're psychic, close your eyes, okay? And I'm going to name three colors and you tell me right away. Don't think about which color, what's it going to, I don't know if it's this one or that. Whichever comes to your mind first and I'll let you know how, how telepathic you are. We'll do this three times and I'll do different things. So I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think of three colors. Close your eyes. Don't think. You know, I'm not. Don't think. I'm gonna name the three colors really quickly. You just think of the first one that comes to your mind, and you tell me which one it is. Blue, green, yellow. Okay. Which color did you guys hear? I'm not going to say nothing until I see all the comments. <laughs> Quinn said, fuck, why say fuck? Okay, so um, Chris, you got it right, yellow. Okay, so I'm going to three. Um, well, you, Crystal, you almost got all the colors except for the one. I'm going to say three more things. Don't think. This is how intuition works. I'm going to tell you how when I do readings, why it works. Because I hear it and I just speak it. I don't go, is that what I'm hearing? I'll just be like, um, I'm hearing that your mom said that she was um, in a hospital when she, when she last died. And I, whatever I hear, I just say it. I don't think about it. I don't think, oh, is this right? Is this wrong? You know, if my intuition says, don't make a left. And I make a left. I just went against what my intuition says. Intuition is quick. It's no, yes, no, right, right, right. It's never, you never have to think about it, okay? All right, so I'm going to say, okay, Chris. No, no, here's what we're going to, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to think of three things. I'm going to say them out loud. Tell me the first thing you hear that I was thinking of. So let's say I just did blue, green, or yellow. Immediately in my mind, I thought the color yellow. No questions. I had yellow 
Before I even said the three colors, I said yellow. So again, I'm going to say three, three things right now. I already know which one I'm picking. So already tune into my energy. Close your eyes. I'm going to say three things. You tell me which thing I'm thinking of out of the three choices, okay? Car, lake, spirit. Okay, what did you guys hear? I'm going to wait till everybody says it. Okay, Quinn, you got it. It was car. And I'm going to tell you why you guys said spirit. And you know what? You guys are not wrong because I'm th I was thinking about all three things. However, my mind was on car. Okay, right. So you know why people saying spirit? It is fun. I, I, this is the greatest way to practice your intuition. We're actually practicing what I do in class, which is I help people build their intuition like this. So you, uh, those of you who are thinking lake, you're thinking it for a reason because I that's my dream to live by a lake house. Those of you who thought spirit, you're thinking it because, you know, I deal with spirit and all that. So that that's where you're naturally gravitated to. This is where I have to tell you, use your intuition. Don't think. This is not a logical thing. We don't think it's flow. She's going to think spirit because it's flow and she concentrates on spirit, right? See, don't think, oh, it's car because her car got her tire. I don't want you to think. I want you to just tell me the first Thing you're hearing it'll be very faint your intuition okay all right um let's do another one okay so i'm gonna say is he happy is the question. And you just tell me if I think it's a yes or a no. So, okay. And I have my answer. Is he happy? Yes or no? What did you think? I don't want you thinking about it. I don't want you thinking about it. What did you hear first? John, I felt no too. I felt no too. I felt no too. And I don't even know who is he happy. I was, I don't even know who, who I was talking about. I was kind of thinking about somebody. I, wow. Okay. But I, here's the thing. I thought yes at first. Now remember telepathically, you can catch the person's thought before they thought of the other thing. But I did think no at the end of this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's keep going. If you guys want to keep going. I mean, this is how I practice my intuition with other people around me. Okay. Um, it comes to the point where I could be around somebody and I'm thinking their thoughts. Like, I'm like, a, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, what the f Bitch, did you just read my mind? I'll be like, sometimes, yeah. It's like, you know, I just heard you talking, so I was just making sure. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to think of three numbers and you tell me which number. And just remember, immediately, 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 whatever you hear, it could be very faint. You could be here, you could hear, no, real quick. I could, no. You could even do like your hand on your heart and just listen and don't overthink it because then you change. it happens to me. Yes, no, no, yes, no, no, no. It'll change 14 times, okay? Oh, thank you. That's um, I put that on my on my screen because I like when it's sunny, it like shines the colors. It's weird. Okay, so um um All right, so I'm actually gonna ask a question right now. And it's going to be pertaining to something that I want to happen in, in the month I want to happen. So you tell me what you're hearing first and we'll see what the weighing, what, what spirit's giving you guys. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm not going to tell you the question. Is it October, November, or December? Okay. What did you guys hear? Mm. 
Okay. 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 Keep going. All right. Yes. What's up, Manhattan? So it's funny because um, I asked, oh God, like, what, am I going to get my, my car soon? Like my new car soon? Is it going to be October, or November or December? And I thought October, like, but then I was thinking like end of October, November. And um, you guys were kind of like on that. But December, I was thinking about December, like something's going to happen December too. I don't know what that is, but it's something different. It's not about that. Because I'm trying really hard to like work on, you know, some things here. So it's like you're, you're reading me, right? You're actually readers. All of you are readers. Okay. Um, okay. Let's, let's do it. Let's do a test here. Okay. Um, crystal, crystal. So go ahead, ask us, ask us a question and then ask us to choose one of them. A question that you know the answer to, ask us to choose one of them and we'll see how good our intuition is, okay? Go ahead, Crystal, write it down. Text it. It's fun, we'll do a bunch of you guys, we'll do all you guys can do, it. it's fun. So tune into Crystal's energy, this is how you do it. Tune into Crystal's energy. Pay attention to Crystal's energy. Close your eyes. Wait for her to write the answer, the question down, and just tune into her energy. Look at her picture right there. She's got blonde hair, beautiful skin. Look at her and just gather her energy. Just feel her energy right now. She's got that white shirt on. Okay, Crystal, ask the question. It doesn't matter. Somebody, one of you crystals. Yeah, you could ask the question and then. It's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Just, just whoever, whoever does it first. But I think, um, I think I was looking at, um, oh, okay. Okay. All right. So she just asked, is my mom with me? I already heard. Okay, so I'll tell you guys what I heard. I heard I heard yes, but like not all the time. So I don't like I don't want you okay. So this one I heard, Crystal. I'm hearing she's with you, but not okay. Tell me if you guys if this makes sense to you guys. Listen to what you're hearing, because she might be giving you messages right now. She's with you, but not in the way that you think she is. She's I'm hearing crossed over to the light. Doesn't want you concerned about that. Is anybody else hearing anything? Go ahead. If you're hearing something, tell her. Has left in a peaceful manner, I'm hearing. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, Chris. Chris, TMZ. Yep, that's what I'm hearing too, Kajan. Go ahead, anybody else want to ask a question? Go ahead, ask a question. This is fun. I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun. to say my phone is um dying let me put it on um, let me put on the charger before it does yeah exactly Chris that's what I was hearing like she doesn't want you to worry about it that's what I 100% first, the first thing I heard was I don't want her worrying about that she's got to stop worrying about that because I feel like maybe your mind is on it too much and she's trying to tell you baby yes my love no you want me to make you your food yeah are you food I'm not hungry are you want me to make your pasta? Um, Bitch. Not, Don't be like this. You said no to eat it. No, you let eat it. Mm -hmm. You're in the food, you're hungry. Why are you talking like that? Because you're my little baby. Stop. It's your little baby. Stop. You're my little Stop. baby. You're so weird. <laughs> All right, guys, let me go make her her food. I'm sorry. Can we come back? Am I on the right path spiritually? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. You can ask... She said, she said no, my daughter said no. <laughs> what? I'm gonna tell you why I heard no too though. Um I think I heard no because of something um that either you're not opening up to. Um 
And she said, no, but I, I said, no, no. When you said, am I on the right path spiritually? You know why I heard no? Because I feel like maybe there's a gift that you're not opening up to or you're scared to open. Oh, man, we got to get back. Can you guys come back later and we could sit together and do this for a little while? Like, I don't, I, I would love to like have you guys come on, but like not like a reading, almost like I, you sit and you come on live, like, and we'll, I don't, I wish we could all do like a group and live what thing, maybe on Zoom. What happens to those little teachings you used to do, those little Zoom meetings? Maybe oh, I still do them. I still do them, but not as often now because, um, you know, it got draining. A lot of people, you know, weren't paying and stuff, so I just... Wait, why were you well, they were forgetting. Like they'd be like, "I forgot to pay," and I'm not they gonna should, chase you people. Them, you should make them pay beforehand. Yeah, I know. You're, pff, look at this fucking little gangster over here. All right, so how about this? Um, at seven o'clock, I'll jump back on. I'll sit on my desk, and we could do that. Um, and we can go back and forth and and keep doing this because I could do this. I could do this for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Say bye. Say bye. I said. Why is my bed squeaking like that? Yeah, for real. Nice. Yours doesn't do that. Yeah. Well, no, actually, not as much as yours. What the hell, dude? I just bought these beds. I don't know if I want food. Okay. I'll come back, you guys. Let me go make her some food. Hi, little healer. Oh, she's a healer, all right. She's a healer, all right. She's a healer, and she's, like, so empathic that I try to have, have to talk to her every day about your emotions are being affected by other people. And she's like, it's not always energy. I'm like, it is, though. But it's it is. Not. Can everybody please type yes if it's always energy? Just, no, it's not always. Can you put your legs out? Everybody please type yes if it's always, if it's everything is energy. Type no. No, they're going to type the truth. It's not I'm, always Because I want you to see I'm not, I'm not telling you that about that all the time. It's not always. Can you please guys, look, see? It's not always. Can you just though. close your legs because there's people you, online. Can you just Here. Look, online? yes, 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 yes. Okay, bro. But I'm not listening to that. Okay, can you just do the... Bitch. <laughs> Why are you my spaghetti, bro? Why are you my spaghetti? Show me a reason why you're broke. Me. <laughs> Show me a reason why you have no money. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes, my daughter's in high school. It sucks. See? Everybody's... I'm not in high school. But I told you everybody's experienced uh, with their kids before. I punch you. All right, guys. No, I love you. Love you. Love you. Make the face. Make the face. No. <laughs> All right. I'll be back, babe. Let me... Babe. Yeah, I'll be back, babe. Bye. Bye, babe. Bye.